This video is about Visio 2010 network rack diagram tutorial. Uh, this is part four uh, concerning data fields and data sets. This is where we left off in the previous video. A few items of equipment that we'd imported from uh, stencils that were found online and in some cases modified. These particular uh, items, uh, data fields will be assigned. Uh, most of these objects come with some data fields already. I'm going to uh, open the task pane here, uh, task pane to look at um, the shape data. And if we uh, select, say, the rack, you will see there's a, a number of fields here. And uh, it's a lot of stuff. Uh, we're actually um, probably this is a these drawings are intended for uh, construction documentation, how to build and place these racks. Probably won't be used to maintain the racks. So um, I'm going to minimize the amount of uh, data that we have for the purpose of uh, making it consistent and uh, not putting a lot of stuff in there to maintain. You would typically uh, be maintaining this in some other program. So I'm going to start out here by uh, actually selecting all of these items and we're going to go to the um, on, on data and we go to define shape data and this, uh, now what we're seeing here is uh, uh, the number of fields that are common to the items that we selected and our goal right here is to delete most of them so we're deleting them for for all of these uh, uh, items at the same time. And you'll see over here, uh, this is what we're deleting. These are the ones that are the fields that are common. So as we uh, delete them, the common data fields are gone. So now we'll look at um, the individual and we'll see that we have a few things there. And then we'll see if we have anything common holding down the control key. No, I'm just one. And then as we look at this one, hold down the control key and select that one. Uh, there we have quite a few in common. We'll add the rack. Now nothing. Take the rack off. So we're going to go after these two. Define shape data. And uh, here we're going to uh, let's delete. So all the common fields there have been deleted. So now we'll go to the stuff that's just not uh, common. Again, we'll go up here and uh, find shape data. So now we see. Okay, so we have on this one, again, we'll go up here and uh, find data sets. Uh, we could have selected these one at a time to start with and just deleted all the data fields. In any case, uh, if we look at the rack, or if we look at the switch, or if we look at the patch panel, or if we look at the UPS, we can see that uh, none of them are showing any shape data. Now we're going to uh, start out with uh, selecting uh, the object that will have the fewest data fields, and that will be the, the rack. And we'll go to right clicking here, define shape data. And uh, here we're going to put in uh, some uh, data fields. This will be a, a minimal number. Uh, first thing we're going to put in is manufacturer. Also, be duplicating that with name. And leave this as a string. Uh, we're not going to put any initial value in there or sort key. And then we'll add another one. And this one is going to be product number. In this case, uh, for the name, we have to have no spaces. We 
underscore. And then we'll add another one. So the product description. Eliminating the space. And one more. And this will be rack ID. Completed for us, and now we see all these showing up over here in the shape data. Now we're going to be doing something a little different uh, with these uh, shape data. I'm going to right click and I'm going to show the shape sheet. And here in the uh, shape sheet, uh, we're going to find uh, the shape data, and here you'll see the names that we put in. Uh, with that uh, underscore. And here for the rack ID, we're going to, for the value, put in a formula. And that would be equals page number, page name. And get this highlighted. It's an optional field there, so and we end up with just page name as the formula for that field. At that point, we can close this and we'll see that our rack ID has shown up right here. And this was from the label that we put on this page. So when we do future uh, pages within this document, that rack ID will be picked up from that uh, tab down at the bottom. Now at this point we're going to uh, data sets. Now here we'll be defining um, some names for this uh, set of data that we put in and for some of the other objects. So to do this we go to uh, add and we're going to be adding the uh, data from the selected object. We're going to call this one all equipment since uh, everything will have um, the minimum set of uh, data fields. Go OK. Now we're going to uh, close this. And we're going to go to our next shot uh, piece of equipment, which is a patch panel. And here we will go to the shape data sets. And we will go to the all equipment. And we're going to apply this to the shape selected in the drawing. So now we have that the same uh, data set applied to the patch panel. And here we're going to uh, close the shape data sets and we're going to define shape data. I'm going to add two fields for the patch panels. One will be patch panel ID. spaces and then we'll be adding one more and that will be closet ID Now you can see that we've added these two. And we're going to do uh, something here with um, this one in terms of a formula. So here we're going to right click or the shape sheet, scroll down, and we'll see closet ID. And then we're going to put, uh, since for the closet ID, uh, we are going to um, 
skip the rack ID part of what we have on the sheet. We're going to go uh, left. And then uh, page name. And here we'll be uh, putting in the number of characters, which will be four. And clicking OK. So now you can see that that's just giving us the left part of that. So that would be our closet ID for this particular item. And we'll close the shape sheet. And now we will uh, go and do a new data set. We will add one. We're going to call uh, this one patch panels. We'll collect the new set from there. We have one uh, data set left that we want to create. I'm going to pick this. Um, EPS and I'm going to go to shape data sets and I'm going to uh, select the all equipment and apply it because that's the basic stuff. Then we are going to add one field to this one. So we will be adding one field to this one. On shape data, and in this case, we're going to add IP address. And we're going to create a data set. This one networked. And this establishes the data fields um, for these. We have one other object shown in our drawing, which is the switch. And it doesn't have any data yet, so we'll go and shape data sets and this is going to be networked so we will apply and now this has that same data set so that uh, completes um, this part of what we're doing and uh, in the next video we'll be looking at uh, labeling we will be putting these uh, data fields to uh, some good use for uh, Further information, go to uh, drinfrastructure.com.